Hi guys, so uh, welcome to uh, final part 3 of this uh, video on how to fix uh, computer monitor, how to uh, replace capacitors. <clears throat> um, I've started without you, sorry guys. <laughs> I've done three of them already, you know, just wanted to check if I wasn't uh, too rusty and everything, but uh, I'm doing pretty good. Um, I'm gonna get a little closer here just to show you what I've done so far. Let me try and get in close here. So, try and focus a little bit. Alrighty. Okay. So I've done these two so far. So that's the that's the two that were uh, damaged. So I replaced these two already, and I've done uh, one over here. There we go. So as you can see, you don't really need a lot of solder when you put in new components. You can see those little tiny, uh, like volcano-shaped um, blotch of uh, solder there. That's all you need and uh, it just makes it look cleaner as well so yeah I've done these three for now and uh, let me put this down now <clears throat> and uh, yeah I've, I've done these three already um, I'm gonna show you how to do how to do it I'm gonna try and get in pretty close so you can see what I'm doing um, yeah that's that's the one right here I gotta replace now so uh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll show you how I uh, how I do this. It's not not really difficult. You just gotta have a steady hand. It helps if you have a, a tool that's called a, a third hand. It's basically just a, a little stand with two alligator clips on it, and you can set it up to either hold the board while you're soldering a component or. Uh, hold the component itself you know just makes everything more steady I don't have one of those uh, I'm planning to get one they're pretty cheap you can have those for like less than 10 bucks but uh, yeah I'm just uh, using my two boxes here <laughs> to hold everything up and uh, yeah I'll uh, I'll show you how I do everything there we'll go from there Okay, so before I start with the real good stuff, uh, just uh, telling you, you know, how I prepare everything. So uh, I usually preheat my uh, soldering iron for maybe two, three minutes. And for people that are interested, I'm using a Nextech, uh, yeah, Nextech 60 watts. It's a variable one, so you can like change how many watts you want to use. I usually solder around 45. Uh, yeah, some uh, some rosin core solder for electronics. Yeah. So this one's got flux already inside. If you don't have uh, if you have solder that doesn't have flux, well, you're gonna get the flux separately. It just makes everything a bit messier. Uh, so it's better to get solder that has flux uh, inside it already. And uh, so, like I said in the previous video, you, uh, there's a polarity on the capacitor. So you can see the negative side here for this one with the minus uh, sign on it. And uh, on the board, you're gonna have a, a thicker white line right here, so that's where the negative is supposed to be. And the negative side has the, the shorter leg. Uh, you're gonna have a symbol on the other side as well, right on the board here. You get a flat line here that's positive, and then you get a, a curved line here that's negative. So you can see, like, negative side is here, positive side is this one. I'm gonna cut the legs off after I'm all done and tested. And uh, the little piece of cardboard here is 
to act as a spacer so basically I put my capacitor like this and I put the cardboard underneath just uh, just to give it some room for ventilation underneath it so it's not resting directly against the board itself so yeah, just like that and then I just rest it like this on this box like that just to line it make it look nice but I mean, if you don't care about it looking nice then it doesn't really matter but I try to do a good job even if it's mine I'm not doing this for anybody else but I'm just a perfectionist like that <laughs> all right so this is basically how I set it up and then uh, just uh, let me try and get a little closer here so we can see what I'm doing all right here we go that's the closest I can get so I don't like uh, having my soldering iron too long on the legs because then you're heating up the capacitor and that's no good so what I like to do is I thin my soldering iron so I put a little bit of uh, put a little bit of solder on the tip just a tiny bit and then I put my solder right at the base here against the board and the leg and then I basically I'm gonna go this way so you can get, you guys can see better so I touch the leg here just like that and there we go that's it it's a little bit too much on that one but it's not that bad Try the other one now. Try to get in from between here. Put a bit of solder on there. Thought I still had some, but Oop, didn't stay. All right, there we go. So that's pretty much it, really. And you'll see what it looks like. If you guys can see pretty good or not. Yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it. For some reason, I can't really seem to uh, get a good look like the other ones. But yeah, and then obviously you remove the paper afterwards, right? Yeah. Well, well for some reason, looks like I've done a better job on the the other ones off camera. <laughs> oh well. focus out here all right so that's pretty much it that's that's all you need just a tiny little bit like that yeah definitely didn't do as good of a job as the other ones that's always like that isn't it somebody's watching you do your work and obviously it's not gonna be as good <laughs> anyways so I got these four done and uh, now I got three over here one here a tiny one here and a tiny one over there so I'll just finish all of those and then uh, see I mean uh, 
see you afterwards and then I'll show you how it looks like after everything's done and then uh, we'll put this thing back in the monitor and hopefully the monitor is going to fire up normal and it's going to be all fixed up all right I'll see you later all right guys um, I decided to uh, show you a second one at least my it's my last uh, capacitor that I have to put on it's one of those really tiny ones uh, it's the contact for C213 um, capacitor is supposed to go in there is a 16 volt 100 microfarads 100 UF um, okay, it's a, one of those tiny ones like this those ones can be a little tricky uh, I don't know if you can see here like there's a tiny microchip right there right next to it and uh, obviously uh, I don't want to desolder that so I'm gonna have to be really careful here um, just, let me just put this in there again you get a check for your polarity you gotta make sure you're doing everything right those tiny ones I usually don't put my piece of paper underneath because they're too small anyways you can uh, you can bend the legs a little bit so that uh, it stays in place all right here we go Julia is a bit too much well, that's not too bad actually all right <coughs> So I think I figured out why I did a bad job earlier, but I think it was, I think I had some old solder on my tip. So uh, clean my tip here. Hopefully, uh, haha, no funny jokes there, guys. <laughs> I hope it's gonna do a better job here. So uh, let's put a little bit of solder back in here. And. Uh, I'm gonna make sure I got some light while I'm doing this. This is really, really tricky. A little bit more. There we go. solder on this board yeah I can still see the hole there All right, I think that's pretty good now as you can see I was uh, dragging my solder up on the leg so that it wouldn't make like a huge blotch at the bottom there you're gonna cut the leg off anyway so if you notice you have too much solder just like rub it up against the leg going upward so yeah I guess uh, it's looking pretty good yeah pretty good job all right so uh, those tiny ones I usually use a little nail file like this but uh, I think it's pretty good here just to make sure there's no uh, there's no solder uh, touching between the two uh, between, between the two poles but uh, yeah, I can see it's pretty good there so uh, if you can see there's a little bit in the middle between the two legs make sure to clean it off even just a tiny tiny bit because uh, if there's contact between the two um, obviously that's gonna create a short and uh, 
it's not going to work properly, right? Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, so uh, I'm all done here. So uh, I'm going to plug everything back in, and uh, hopefully it's going to work fine. And uh, I'll let you know what happens. All right, guys. So uh, put it all back together, um, and yeah, I mean it's just pretty straightforward. I mean, like you've seen me on uh, disassemble it and everything. So I mean, uh, put it back together the reverse way of uh, what you did when you disassembled everything. <coughs> pretty straightforward. Um, and uh, all right, so uh, everything plugged in. Uh, moment of truth. Let's see, uh, let's see if it works. Yeah! Alright! I don't know about you guys, but uh, I call that a win. So, uh, looks like it was successful. Uh, hopefully, uh, it's going to stay on uh, for a little while. And uh, hopefully I won't have any, any more problems with it for... Uh, few years still uh, if I can get another couple of years out of it I mean I'll be happy so uh, I mean uh, I'm, pr I'm pretty proud of doing stuff like that I mean I don't want to bolster myself or anything but especially in, the, in the, the kind of society we live in right now like it's 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 consume 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 you know and, and throw away when it's not good anymore when it's broken instead of fixing so I mean, right now, instead of dumping this monitor away in the garbage, going in the landfill somewhere, and, uh, like, th this whole order cost me something like 20 bucks, maybe, with shipping, and it, it's just capacitors. I mean, it's pretty straightforward stuff. If you know how to solder, it's pretty easy to fix. So... It's it's a good thing to uh, it's a good thing to learn, you know, and uh, that way uh, you can save uh, the Earth one monitor at a time. <laughs> All right, so uh, pretty happy with this. Uh, I'll let you know if, uh, if something screws up again or whatever. I'll put an update on the on the video and then uh, I'll let you know. But uh, yeah. Hopefully it's going to hold. And uh, for everyone that's uh, interested to know, I used uh, capacitors from Mauser Electronics. I bought everything online and shipped to my door. It was pretty quick and uh, like I said, it cost me like something like 20 bucks. So uh, all, all the capacitors were Panasonic's. I'll put, a, I'll put links in the description of all the capacitors that I've used and uh, so that way just in case somebody comes along and uh, has the same problem with the exact same monitor that I have then uh, you'll know what capacitors to buy so uh, yeah pretty happy with this and uh, happy that I uh, shared this experience with you this this is my first uh, on quote unquote hardcore do it yourself uh, project video on YouTube so yeah I mean let me know what you think and uh, post comments uh, click the like button subscribe and everything and all that jazz you know the drill <laughs> all right so uh, thank you for watching this and uh, hopefully it's gonna help people out there alrighty so uh, thank you again all right peace out